Hello, dear students. Today, we are going to learn converting measurements from one unit to another. For part one, I will be discussing how to convert metric measures. Our most essential learning competency is for you to be able to convert measurements from one unit to another in both metric and English system. As for the reference, we will be using the second quarter compendium of notes in Mathematics 7 by the Schools Division of Tarlac Province. First, let us have a review on approximating units of measurement. I will be showing you some objects and we are going to approximate the measurement of each. For number one, what is the approximate measurement of the width of a door? So the answer is B, one yard. How about the weight of a paper clip? So its weight is approximately one gram. Number three, a drop of liquid is approximately one milliliter. For number four, a person's weight is approximately 40 kilograms. And for number five, the capacity of a bottle of cola is approximately one liter. So the answer for number five is letter A. This time, let us try to identify which unit is a larger. First, is it kilometer or mile? The answer is mile. Since one mile is approximately 1.61 kilometer. Next, is it decameter or decimeter? So the answer here is decameter, since one decameter is equal to 100 decimeter. Next, is it kilogram or pound? Which one is larger? So the larger unit is kilogram, since one kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds. Is it liter or gallon? Which one is larger? So the larger unit is gallon, since one gallon is approximately 4.55 liters. And for the last one, which one is larger? Is it a milliliter or a cubic centimeter? The answer here is none, because one milliliter is equal to one cubic centimeter. And take note that in converting measurements, it is important that we know which unit is larger or smaller. Here is our rules in converting metric measures. So to change from a larger unit to a smaller unit, we simply multiply by a power of 10. On the other hand, to change from a smaller unit to a larger unit, we divide by a power of 10. We start by converting metric measures of length. So when we say length, it is a measure of how long an object is or the distance between two points. Our commonly used metric units of length is kilometer, hectometer, decameter, meter, decimeter, centimeter and millimeter so for us to have or for us to memorize that we can use the mnemonics kim how does mike's dog catch mice for letter k we can use that uh, for kilo h for hecto d for deci or deca m for meter d for deci c for centi and m for milli so that is the arrangement of our um, prefixes. So again, when we are converting from a larger unit to a smaller unit, let's say, for example, we are going to convert kilometer into meter. So we are going to multiply depending on um, the number of places that we have moved to the right. Okay. We'll have an example later. 
On the other hand, when we are converting from smaller unit to a larger unit, we divide. Say, for example, if we are going to convert centimeter into hectometers, so we are going to count the number of places. So that is one, two, three, four. So we are going to divide the value of centimeters divided by 10,000. For us to have a clearer view of that, let us have the following examples. For example A, we have to convert 25 hectometers to decimeters. So first, we write our given, which is 25, and then we write its decimal point, which is at the end of 5 after 5, since this is a whole number. After that, we can use this diagram and locate hectometer. And we count the number of times we move to the right. So for every movement, that is 10. Another movement, that will be 100. Another movement, that will be 1,000. Okay. So again, hectometer to decimeter is 1, 2, 3. Three movements to the right. That means that our decimal point will move three places to the right. When we do that, we will have one, two, and three places. Our decimal point will be here. But since there are no digits, so we have to annex zeros. That's why the result is 25 times 1,000 or 25,000. So 25 hectometers is equal to 25,000 decimeters. For example B, we are going to convert 3.5 kilometers to meter. Our decimal point is already given, so we just have to find kilometer and meter in our diagram. So the distance between them is 1, 2, and 3. Okay, 3 places to the right, which means that our decimal point will also move 3 places to the right. When we do that, we will have 1, 2, and 3. So there are no digits in these two place values, so we have to annex two zeros. And our answer will be, will be 3,500 meters. Or we can say 3.5 kilometers is equal to 3,500 meters. For letter C, we have to convert 6,210 millimeters to decameters. So again, we write our given, which is 6,210. And then its decimal point is at the end because it is a whole number. After that, we locate millimeter and decameter. So for this example, we are going or we are moving to the left. It means that our decimal point will also move to the left. So let us count how many places is that. So we have one, two, three, four. So four places to the left. Our decimal point will move four places to the left. So we have one, two, three, and four. Our decimal point will be here then. Okay, so our answer is 0 0.6210 decameters. This time, let us um, try to convert metric measures of weight or mass. So weight is a measure of how strongly gravity pulls, while mass is the measure of the amount of matter that objects are made of. And here are the commonly used metric units of weight. Again, we have the prefixes kilo, hecto, deca, until milli, but this time our base unit is gram. Here are some examples on how to convert metric measures of weight or mass. For example, A, we have to convert 26.5 or 26.75 kilograms. Grams. 
So again, we write our given, which is 26.75. Our decimal point is between 6 and 7. So we just have to count the number of places from kilograms to grams. So we have 1, 2, 3. So we have three places to the right. It means that our decimal point will move three places to the right. When we do that, so we will have one, two, and three. So we have to annex a zero for us to have our final answer, which is 26,750 grams. For example B, we have to convert 145 milligrams to hectograms. Again, our given is 145. Our decimal point is at the end or after 5. And then we count the number of places from milligram to hectogram. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. That is 5 places to the left. So when we do our movement, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Our decimal point will be here since there are no digits here. So we have to annex two zeros. So our final answer is 145 milligrams is equal to 0 0.00145 hectograms. Next, we move on to converting metric measures of volume. So capacity or volume. Capacity refers to the amount of liquid that a container holds, while volume is the amount of space inside a solid figure. Volume and capacity are related in the metric system because volume measures capacity. So in this diagram, we have here volume, which refers to the space and capacity is the amount of water or liquid that could fill this container. And here are the commonly used metric units of volume. Our base unit is liter, and we have the same prefixes from kilo until milli. Here are some examples on how to convert metric measures of volume. So when we convert 7.5 liters to milliliters, we write our given. After that, we count the number of places from liter to milliliters. So that is one, two, three, three places to the right. So we have one, two, and three. Again, we don't have digits in this part, so we have to annex zeros. That's why our final answer is 7,500 ml. For letter B, we have to convert 3,500 centiliters to kiloliters. So first, we write our whole number, which is 3,580. Its decimal point is at the end. And then, centiliter to kiloliter is one, two, three, four, five. That is five places to the left. So our decimal point will move five places. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. Our decimal point will be here and we have to annex a zero. So our final answer is 3,580 centiliters is equal to 0 0.03580 kiloliters. For part two, I will be discussing how to convert measurements from one unit to another, this time covering English measures. Please watch the next video for the discussion. Thank you.